we are live. State Supreme Court. The year, 1979. 39-year-old Governor-elect Lamar Alexander walks grim-faced into the Tennessee Capitol. Senate is directly behind Mr. Alexander. Ned Ray McWhorter is directly behind him. The Attorney General is following. Alexander will be doing what hasn't been done before in 185 years of Tennessee history. Seize power from a sitting governor. We're expecting him to be sworn in right now. The reason? The U.S. Attorney believes state inmates may soon be released from prison by Governor Ray Blanton after paying members of Blanton's staff for pardons. Mr. Chief Justice, I am ready to take the oath of office. Please place your left hand upon the Bible. But that, that's up at Camp David. Fast forward to 2011. Vanderbilt alumnus and now Senator Lamar Alexander meets with Chancellor Nick Zeppos in Vanderbilt University's Central Library. It, this is real mining of historical documents, and I, I think history um, is so important for what we do because it gives us some sense of how we face challenges. I mean, you're just describing being ushered in three days early to be the governor because of, you know, allegations of scandal and bribes. And we call that a constitutional crisis. <laughs> Chancellor Zeppos recently received a sneak peek of a few items from more than 500 boxes of materials from Lamar and Honey Alexander's pre-Senate papers. The Alexanders have donated the material to the library's special collections. I would try to shake a thousand hands a day with people that I normally wouldn't meet, and I'd spend yeah. the night with people whom I mostly didn't know yeah. before. And um, I can still remember the people that I met in many cases, and that was a long yeah. time ago. Uh, well, I still think there's something about taking the measure of the person mm -hmm. and looking the person in the eye and saying, I, you know, I'd like your support. It's good to meet you. That's what I said. I said, I'd, I'm Lamar Alexander, and I'd like to be your next governor. <laughs> the well-known Alexander shirts. In those 500 boxes of donated nice material, one. colorful campaign oh, memorabilia, God. Alexander family scrapbooks, and mementos. For archivist Kathy Smith, one special find in the collection is a manuscript written by Alexander himself about the moments before his early inauguration. As I stepped from the elevator on the second floor, I sensed for the first time the electricity of the moment. Reporters, staff, and some friends were pushing into the Supreme Court room from every direction. No one had known about the ceremony until 40 minutes earlier. Rumors of every sort had spread through the Capitol. Almost no one knew for sure what was about to happen. Even some of those who were rushing into the courtroom had no idea what they were rushing to see. Dean of Libraries Connie Benita Dow calls the collection a treasure chest of material for scholars, journalists, and historians. Well, certainly this is one of our most important collections, and it uh, puts us on the national stage when it comes to materials that are going to be uh, stand the test of time in terms of their value to researchers. The public will have their own chance to see this special slice of history during an exhibit at Vanderbilt's Central Library. For ViewCast, I'm Avery Deer Owens.